Good day everyone, or actually good morning. Today is the day we are going to be decorating the terrace. The sunrise is so beautiful. Yesterday was rather cloudy and a little bit of rain. So today it looks like we may have some clear skies, but this is New England, so I may get a cloudy wind in the middle of my decorating. But I just wanted to start today's video, how I start most of my mornings. I usually rise before the sunrise, so as I'm sitting in my studio having my morning tea, or coffee, and I look out onto the sea, as soon as I see that strip of orange, I go out, because I love to hear the gulls and the waves. Okay. So here's the start of the day. A little bit lighter this way. If we look up there, we can see the moon still out. That beautiful pinky orange sky. All right, on with our video today. We're gonna to be decorating the terrace. And even though this tree is here, it wasn't here a few moments ago. So I'll show that in a moment. But normally I have my table here and I usually keep pots of different plants. And it was just the end of the mums, which had died back, but I had a few greens and things that were still growing in there. But I'm going to put up this tree I move these terracotta pots here. We're going to festoon this area and try to make it pretty for Christmas because boy, do we really need Christmas this year. All right, let's get started. So the story of this tree is pretty interesting. I used to work at Starbucks years ago, and um, for an artist actually, working part-time in the mornings at Starbucks is actually a great place to work. But um, at Christmas time they had a, a pair of these trees, and at the end of the season they are going to throw them away, and I asked, may I please have them, as opposed to throwing them in the dumpster. And I've used them every year. And this year, this is the first time I'm trying them out here on the terrace, I'm kind of excited. It's really heavy duty. Um, metal and I have used them outside before and they didn't rust or anything and it has a heavy metal base and all these little gold balls are just fastened in they've always been a part of the original tree so I just leave them so I think it's going to work out here we'll see and then I have my two terracotta urns which will put our greens in and some other pretty sparkly things and then I think I'll festoon here with some garland and even though I want to have it somewhat natural I think I also because this year we need Christmas so much even though we have the beauty of the seaside and natural elements, I'm still going to add some sparkling glitz out here, I think, just because why not? <laughs> After 2020, I think we need it. Okay, so let's go get our garland and start doing that next. I have this funny little wreath, I think it's from the dollar store, and it uh, has a little bell on it, so I'm hoping that that will um, deter the squirrels, but it probably won't. So I was thinking of having that be in the center because then as the wind picks up the bell, it'll both sound lovely and also possibly keep the squirrels away. I don't know. So after I've hung up my simple lighted garland, um, I wanted to have some more bell sounds to try to keep the squirrels away. So I have these little bell ornaments and just these little clips. I think these are from the dollar store as well. And I'm just going to clip these on like this and then clip them onto here just because I think that looks pretty. And as the wind blows, it will help make sound. Now it's time to decorate our terracotta rectangular pots. So let's gather up some greens and fun things from the garden and uh, we'll listen to a little bit of background Christmas music as we go.
sticking with the classic uh, kind of red and gold out here, predominantly red, I'm going to put natural greens in my two terracotta pots, but I still want a little sparkle. So I have these little tinsel Christmas trees I'm going to use as the centerpiece. And then I have some glittery faux ferns that I thought we could use to mix in with the greens. So let's try that. So as I know, I want this to be my centerpiece. And I look, I still have some old herbs in here because these are my herb pots that I use on the dining table out on the terrace. Some old oregano, or is this lemon thyme? I'm just going to leave that. I'm putting this in as the centerpiece. I'm then going to just take some of our, the greens I cut this morning. I have some cedar that I just cut from a tree from the beach. Cut that into a few pieces. And I'm just going to be really loose with it. Stick some here and there. A little piece there. And threes. I like to work in groups of threes. And the juniper, which our uh, native robins love. You can see the blueberries, hopefully, on there. Which they eat anyway, but then they can come here and eat, eat them out of the decorations if they like. I'm just going to stick some of those in there. And again, I don't even know that I'm going to necessarily make these two uh, sy symmetrical, other than I will put the sparkly cone tree which I'm going to wire down in the center of both. And I will make the sparkly faux ferns match. But other than that, I'm just going to stick these greens in randomly, just to give it a little Christmas cheer. Again, I'm not spending too much time because I want to decorate a lot. And I'm only one person. So again, if you are busy and you want to make something quickly, I swear, some fresh greens cut from the garden, stuck in a pot with a few tinsel bits. Suddenly you are the greatest designer ever. I also cut some of our, uh, the evergreen, which is our rhododendrons. I made sure to cut the ones that didn't have buds because I don't want to take our beautiful buds away. And then I'll just stick a few of these in. And I'm just cut, I cut one branch, but I'm just cutting a few pieces off to kind of stick the green around here and there. You know what I might do? I might take this and stick it through the back of this. And by pushing this down, that's going to hold my cone in place. So that's a good tip that I just picked up. Okay. And then I need to divide these between the two pots because I do want that to be symmetrical. And then for just a little bit of sparkle, I'm just going to stick these in. And this is just old soil because as I said, this is my herb. These are my herb pots, so they still have the soil in it. It has not been cold enough to freeze our soil here yet. So we are lucky in that. Again, nothing super fancy. And I'll probably stick a couple of plastic Christmas bulbs in as well if I decide to. It's hard to design from behind, but we'll see how it looks when we're done. I think I want to move this here so you can see it more from the house. And the same with this. If I can just stick that, I'm going to stick that through there as well. Stick that there with this here. And there we have our Christmas pot. And then I'll just mimic it on the other side. So I wanted to keep it sort of bird themed out here in the sense that I want the birds to enjoy it. So I just wanted to keep it simple. So this already has beautiful gold balls in it. So I just have some inexpensive red cardinals. So I'm going to wire the cardinals around. And then I have little red jingle bells. I'm going to hang on the red cardinals and red jingle bells. And then I also wanted to add, I have an extra little bird feeder and I thought it would actually be really sweet if I could put this in here in the ground and then we'll put bird seed in here. And then I have one of my arrangements that we made last time with the pine cone and the little bird on top. I'm going to smear that with peanut butter as one of our commenters reminded me that they do that with their pine cones. And I forgot I used to do that as well. I stopped because the squirrels usually get it and my relationship with squirrels here is much like my relationship with bittersweet. <laughs> there are times where I truly love them, but there's majority of the time where I'm cursing them. So hopefully they won't eat all of the peanut butter and eat all the bird seed, but we'll try our best. And as it's closer to the house, we can enjoy the birds closer to the window and still see the sea. So there we have the bells and the cardinals on. Bird seed for the bird feeder. If you'll recall, this darling little ornament we made the other day with the pine cone from our wood and one of these. Now I'm 
about 95% sure that this is gonna be taken over by the squirrels, but I'm gonna hope that the birds get some of it. So I'm just gonna take some of our peanut butter. I know it's not going to last very long and it looks silly, I'm sure, to do it. I think you're supposed to really stick it up in there a little bit better than I'm doing. And I'm even going to put some bird seed on it. See how adorable that looks? And then I'm going to fasten it to our little central thing here and hoping that the birds will light on it, but it'll be moving too much for the squirrels, but we'll see. And let's fill our feeder for the lovely birds to enjoy. Well, I think that's been a successful day. I really wanted to decorate the pergola on the terrace, and I think we've done a pretty good job. The terracotta planters look nice with the juniper berries and the other fresh greens, the sparkle of the seashells as well as the ornaments, and I have the mermaid and some coral on the railing. So I think overall it's been a success. We have our funny little bird planter and I put extra seed out for the birds so hopefully they will enjoy it. And sitting here at my desk in the dining room I can look out and see our Christmas joy. And as the sun's setting, it's really nice to uh, enjoy that. And you can see also I have my paper whites in my peacock and my little punch punchinello creamer. When I'm not using it, I like to uh, place it with my quail and my planter with the paper whites growing. And this will be the perfect spot to sit and dream and sketch and think about Christmas because we really do need an enjoyable Christmas this year. I think we'll close out today's video by watching the sunset on our Christmas lights on the terrace and with some great words from Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol that seems to be very fitting today. It is a fair, even-handed, noble adjustment of things that while there is infection and disease and sorrow, there is nothing in the world so irresistibly contagious as laughter and good humor truer words were never spoke Charles Dickens <laughs> and boy do we need that in today's world uh, so even if you just want to stick some evergreens in a pot with some tinsel and Christmas bulbs any simple thing you can do in these days and troubling times can make for a happy Christmas and I hope all of you do have a happy Christmas and thank you for joining me here for fun decorating the terrace and I will see you next time and remember stay creative <laughs>